<laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the stream and Virtue's Last Reward. It's part 30 of Virtue's Last Reward. I'm sure we're going to get an ending one of these days. We'll get there instead of just a to-be-continued. I don't know if it'll be tonight. I'm sure we will find an ending at some point. I guess let's continue on. We had gone to the lounge with Fi, and she was expressing her indecision with ellipses. And a uh, second set of ellipses. Okay, yes, huh? Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah, we used that in a puzzle. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? It's talking about the ninth line, eating the sun. Not the ninth lion, Sigma, the ninth lion. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Huh. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. What? When did she ever think we were an eagle eye? She's been the one noticing everything for us. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Exactly. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Well, it was... We rearranged the letters last time, Sigma. You must remember this. That was the entire reason that the message was on the first warehouse wall in the first place. Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. No, no. Nineth Lion. Shit. Hey. It's already two minutes past time. Uh, time does fly when you are considering misspelled graffiti. We should get moving. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Just want to check something really quick. Does it require the jumping on? We saw Alice nope. alive. She was right here. No, it does not require jumping on top of the booths. Remember? Yeah, she was looked like she was kneeling down over on the side here, and Clover went over to her. And I think that was the last time we ever saw Alice. She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Hmm. 
Find something? Aha.、Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my God. She probably just jumped all the way up to the crane on that ceiling. I noticed something. The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Look at the number six A B room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. Mm-hmm. What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? Hmm. I guess a、uh, a cut, a laceration, I suppose. Yes, that I forgot all about vampires, but that is completely the correct answer. Zero must be a vampire. So all we have to do is check to see which one of the players is a vampire, and we will have discovered who Zero is. Yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks, right? Fi does look kind of pale. I wouldn't be surprised if she might be a vampire. Come on, this is no time to be screwing around. I think that's every time for for Sigma. It's all the time is the proper time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing, the handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Well, you assume that. I'm not sure why. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost A B room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Right. What do you think was going through her mind? And. And and you're almost there. Yes, exactly. So, how long do you think it was here? Wait. When's the start? Figured it out, huh? Hmm. Okay, I'm up. Just pressing a button, and it's oh, it was comparing the positions of the A B rooms at the beginning to what they are now. Yeah. Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost A B room? And who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started?
What do you think this is? Seems like it. This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was, which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with his handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out. Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? Uh, pretty much 100% of it. There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yes, that is very much the case. It's been the case throughout this entire game. Did you, uh, did you miss motive or... No, you did not miss motive. No motive has been given. It's a murder that we don't know really who this victim is or what relation she had with any of the players or what reason anyone would have had to kill her. Or how the woman actually showed up here since Luna was a solo, so why would there have been someone else in her booth? Right, Zero Jr. did not mention anything. Maybe Zero Jr. doesn't care, uh, because maybe the old lady is not a participant. That is also another point how the room was moved. You would have to assume Zero would have had to do that, because who else would have had the access to that crane? But then, if Luna was Zero, why not just have robots move the body out without being discovered at all? I think you'd have to assume that Zero wants the body to be discovered, otherwise it would not have been here. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Right. Hmm. So multiple separate people saw this handkerchief and put all that together to assume Luna must be the murderer. Hmm? You're right. 
Well, maybe Clover found an axe after all, and that's why no one's here. Sigma. Phi. There you are. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Oh, Clover found that axe. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. I was starting to get used to it. So this, r this room seems like it has a lot of bad luck to it. And it seems that we have a pretty obvious suspect this time. As opposed to the Alice murder. going over who everyone's partner would have to be due to the colors, who did they say Luna was going to have to go with? Don't remember now. Luna was with Sigma and Phi? Okay, so she was going to be our partner, okay. I believe she was poisoned. See here. This device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. Should I go get them? What do you mean? Yes? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Yeah, actually, no one showed up. They haven't addressed that yet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. Oh, it was just the four of them that agreed to that time? Okay. It came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said, or even if I had heard it at all. It seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, 
I noticed that the door to room two was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarig. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence. But... Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. That would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um... May I say something? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? The weapon. Indeed. Did he mean the knife in her chest? Someone pulled it out? The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. How would I know? Why are you asking me? Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? Okay. Oh, Sigma. This is hypothetical. Or maybe it's not. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. Oh, you... There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. Oh, you mean just casual killers, Fi. They're not real killers. Real killers want to get close in as possible. Make it as messy as they can. No. I don't know either way. You know, murder just is far too oriented towards casuals these days. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway... What I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30-minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning, and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Yeah, Sigma does have, uh... I think he, he does really need to conserve the amount of stuff he saves in the brain. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. 
We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Well, K should not be taking it. Please, take this with you. Yeah, we should be taking it. After all, we're gonna need it. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing, Kay. Just having an inner monologue. You and Fi are the magenta pair. No, no, it's just, you know, the, the inner conflict and torment over me taking our dead friend's bracelet. Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. It's just taking me a little while to work out through the necessary dialogue, or monologue, I should say, to help me come to terms with it. Then... If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? Good. Shall we go? Wait. Shit. No. Well, not yet. We might be looking at a worst-case scenario. Uh, excuse me? God. What the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? You mind sharing with the rest of us, Fi? I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's just... <sighs> there was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Quark. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear, this is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then... Oh, they don't seem... yeah, I don't, I don't think things are going very well for Ten and, and Clover then. Let's just go to the warehouse on Floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. Yes, I do like the parts in this game where they realize that they have to stop talking and actually get a move on. It's so different from most of the game. Alright, so we've had another death, but we can't really spend time investigating that. Quark has still not been found. At least we have Luna's bracelet. But yeah, from what uh, you guys are saying, it does seem that this is probably how this timeline is about to end. Unless Quark just happens to be here. Well, I kind of guess it's not going to turn out to be that way. Oh, the ending is still far away? Chromatic doors have opened. Well, if the ending is still far away, it has been another half an hour. Unfortunately, part 30 of VLR did not go very well since Luna died. And this is the first time that we've ever seen Luna die in one of these run-throughs. Um... And things are, seem to be going just kind of bad all around. So, I guess we're going to take a little break, be back in a few minutes, and we'll see what happens now that the white doors have opened up 
and Quark probably is still not around. Luna's dead. Alice is dead. And, uh... Who knows? Maybe Quark is just heading through the number nine door as we speak. He could do that at any time. So we'll be back in a few minutes and see how this particular run-through will surely tragically end. Be back in a few minutes. (laughs) 